Welcome back guys, it's Mori and today I'm going to be taking you through the best smokes for both attack and defense for Brimstone on every single map. I don't really need to say much more, let's dive in. So if you've played Brimstone before, you would obviously know how to smoke a site correctly or if you've played a controller before. But for the people that are brand new to Brimstone, I'm going to quickly show that and then I won't repeat it again for every single map. So what you effectively want to do when you're smoking a site is not do this. Smoke's down. What you can see here is basically a smoke. I've smoked the door, but what can happen is an enemy can sneak in. They can sneak out this side and start creating angles and taking fights that way. You don't want to give them anything that they can basically work their way around to avoid certain angles. What you want to do is make sure it's nice and flush with the wall. You basically want the, the edge of the circle just overtaking the door like that. So that way, if I'm in here and I'm trying to sneak my way out, my as you can see, my gun is well and truly out before I'm actually out and I can be killed from every single angle. That's what you basically want to do with every single smoke. With that being said, this is how I would go about an A attack. I would put one here and I would put one here Nothing like smoke. this. That way you have smoked off heaven, you've smoked off there and your teammates can move in holding to see if anyone pushes out heaven out of the smoke to try and take the fight. For A site on defense, a really good smoke is this one right here. Something else you can do to deny the enemy is to actually go straight out here and you can smoke mid link, which goes through to B lobby. So basically they have a really hard time if they're trying to get mid presence as well. There is also mid top like this, which you can smoke as well. So that you're basically just denying mid control and you can slow down that initial push from A. You can also, if you want to, pop a molly into a smoke like that which means that if the enemy wants to push through it, they're going to have a really hard time and they're going to lose a lot of health. Plus, they're coming in blind, so they don't know what is happening. All right, guys, if you want to go mid, the smokes that I would do is Cubby right across from B-Link so that you can actually um, get up safely. Then you want to go just behind Pizza there like that and then finally Holy CT smoke. like that. So you can basically run straight up. You obviously have the fight with anyone here and here. And you're basically just making your way through here. And if you want the smokes to last as long as possible, obviously, if you've got someone like a duelist pushing for you, you would get them to be leading. And as you get to each section, you smoke it rather than doing them all right at the start. But that is the quickest way on. But it just means that, you know, if you pop them all at once and you're having a fight here with someone like this and it takes a few seconds, you see T1 may be gone by the time you actually get there. And it also telegraphs exactly what you're doing. So I would pop one by one by one as you are making your way to site but those are the smokes that I would do. If you instead would like to go mid to B, what I would do is basically right here in between where it says mid bottom and mid pizza, you pop that one. And that is basically going to completely obstruct any view that they have. You obviously want to do mid link as well so that you can run freely up here, just concentrating on anyone who may peek from here and you are basically scot-free straight onto site. You can, if you want to, also do garden like that, just to make sure that you're actually effectively on site. For defending on mid, what you're gonna wanna do is obviously mid link and mid top like so. I don't bother like trying to fill this space here because they're basically peeking out of a smoke to take this fight, and it's much easier for you guys on defense basically. Um, but it at least blocks that section off. So if they're trying to op or whatever, they literally have to come out of the smoke and then it's a fairly easy fight from there. But you've also got B-Link, so you're not going to get swung from there. And you leave Cubby open so your teammates can help you take this fight. For attacking the B site, it's pretty simple. You want to make sure you take care of Market like that and CT like yeah. that. Pop those two. And then you are clear, basically, to move straight into site. All right, guys, so for B site, what you can actually do, the main smoke is smoke. just like this to cut them off. This is going to stall for a while. Let's say that your teammates are rotating over, but they're absolutely rushing you. You can back all the way up into boathouse and you can drop one here like this, one here like this. And what that's going to do is allow you to play the exits from the smoke and they won't see and can't really, you know, they can't basically cut 
putt angles and like push into sight slowly, they have to basically go, okay, I'm going to commit, run straight out, and you can pick them off pretty easily. It's a good stalling tactic. And then you've got your team pushing in from both CT and market can actually help you because, you know, they're waiting to come through here and you're getting shots in the back from up in CT or from in market. So really good stalling tactic with those smokes. If you lose control of mid, you can actually smoke off market like so. Nice and flush again with the wall like this. Um, and that is another good way to stall. We are on Pearl and of course we are going to start off with the A site first. So the default smokes that I like to go with is deep on flowers. You can basically see this little neck here where it joins on. You want to smoke that deep on secret as well and then mid link. Now you don't actually want to um, do a link Fully if broke. you have mid control but this is what it looks like. But obviously the deeper smoke just means they're not as close to sight if they do decide to rush it. Same here. If you were to smoke like right here, for example, they can still basically sneak up and peek this. And if you smoke it any deeper, then I'll just show you, for example, if I actually was to smoke like this instead, they can kind of still play here. And if you smoke it any deeper, like you can already see how close this is. It's very easy for them to rush and kill whoever's planting. So you kind of want to keep it further back, which is why I put it where I put it. Nice. On defense for A site, a really good smoke is right here like this. Smoke's down. Which allows you and a teammate to push up and secure the alt orb and get the free alt orb while you or a teammate holds for you while you pick it up. And then another one is obviously when they are pushing site just to deny entry is this one right here. It blocks off pretty much everything. And you can actually just hold onto it and you've, you know, if you've got three smokes and they're trying to get on A, you can just basically keep this smoked for ages going over and over and over. And that's probably going to deter them to go and rotate. But uh, you can also obviously molly that one just because it's the main entry point. If you find yourself losing mid, you can smoke okay. this to try and really hold on, but then you are limiting your, I should say, map control quite a bit. Uh, quite a bit. So you want to uh, think about that before you do that. For mid, you can actually set up a one way on this box right here, which basically they can avoid, but if they're obviously gonna wanna swing deep, it's gonna block their face like it is mine at the moment. Otherwise they have to peek like this close to the wall, which is just, as we know, not a great habit to get into. The other one for B defense, which is great, is these mid doors like this. You want to make sure that it's flush with the doors because normally what they would do is they would sneak through and they would start to clear this section here. They clear this, then they clear that, then they clear this, but they actually have to swing out and you've got one, two, three sections that you could kill them from and they're basically peeking up blind. So it's a really good smoke there. For attacking on B site, what I like to do for the default ones is B-Link, only if you don't have mid control, obviously tower as well, and then back this back section on tunnel. So it looks a little something like this. You obviously don't want to put it like here because it'll go up top next to this one. So you want to actually put it behind the tunnel. If we're looking at the mini map, it has to go here. If I try and smoke here, it's going to land up top like that, which does create a cool one way if you wanted to you know, basically do that intentionally, but I'll leave that to you guys. And obviously don't smoke this if you have mid control, cause then you're smoking your own teammates off. Bit of a mess. For defending B site, the best smoke that I have found is this one here and here Launching like this, smoke. because it's going to pretty much completely blind them and obstruct their view, especially if they're using snipers or anything. If you wanted to do the back up here like this and this, it doesn't okay. really work because this is like a little ramp that they can just walk straight up and then, you know, they can still get angles. So you obviously can see over these two as well. So you do need to look out for anyone who is trying to go for that high play. But um, that is what I have found to be pretty successful at actually cutting off the push. And then if you just play around the corner like this, rather than standing out here like this, where this person can shoot you, you are pretty good from there. Smoke's down. All right, guys, when I'm attacking A site, I won't actually do anything with lamps or U-Haul as it's otherwise known. I will instead smoke either side of triple box a little bit further forward with this one because there's a little nook here on triple and then block Holy off smokes. heaven. It looks like this. You would have two of your teammates push into lamps and clear that out. Trading, you want to make sure this is nice and flush. I've put this one further forward because it does have this little nook that they can get into. But if you put it a little bit further forward, as you can see, my uh, vision is a little bit blurred. 
So it makes it a little bit harder for them to swing the person on the bomb. And I would normally molly the front one just to block that off. So all you have to do is worry about people further away swinging. And you can hold for that. And uh, that's how I would take a site. If you really did want to and you wanted to mix it up, you could just smoke lamps like this. And then you would obviously still smoke the middle two like that and like that. But then you have to worry about someone with a sniper potentially picking you off as your team rotates in from heaven. So it's just something you have to be aware of, but you can still do it that way if you'd prefer. For defense on the A site, what you can actually do is put your smoke right on top of this box and it's gonna create a one way right here. The tighter the angle, obviously the better use of the one way you get. They can avoid it like that though. So you can put a smoke normally on the ground like that. And sometimes the combination of both is good because people will climb up on this box. So even though um, you're not really utilizing the one way, as you can see there, they can peek you from that angle. So having both there is a little bit more effective of a way to actually cut off short. And then as always, you would molly into that because it's the closest point of entry and the most easy. And then obviously you can smoke showers like that. The great thing about Brimstone is these smokes do reach a really long way though. So you can obviously rotate into this section right here to help anyone out that you need who may need help with say hookah like that. When attacking B site, what I like to do is do the back section right here off hall. I like to completely cut off elbow like this so it's nice and flush with this section right here. So they basically can't sneak around and get in. And from there, you're pretty much free to move about the site. Um, obviously, ideally, that would be a little bit further back so you're not creating a, a section for them to play off, but even still, there's not much there to really play around. For defending B, obviously we have Hookah like this and we've got Garden like oh, this. These are the main two that you guys will use. And then you can just simply molly off the sides of the wall like molly. that if you want to get a molly in there. And uh, yeah, pretty straightforward. All right, when attacking A site, what you want to do is uh, basically smoke Heaven like this. And you want to smoke down. the connector like that so basically don't want to leave any angles there and you don't want to give them any bit of a belly on this smoke to sneak into that corner and potentially fight anyone that's over there you want to cut everything off nice and smooth and that's what it looks like when defending the a site one a really good tactic if you want to get the alt orb is to actually smoke the lobby like this and sewer like this. Smoke. You are going to give them a free pass to get straight across, but you can pick it up while someone else helps you get that alt point. And if you were quick beforehand, as you place molly. it, shoot your molly down there, then go for the orb. And that's going to defend that little one in sewers. So even if they get to the bottom of sewers, they're not going to push this until you're back up here holding it. For attacking mid, it's pretty straightforward with this one. You can do a couple of things. You can either smoke the two links like this, which looks like this and this. However, that does mean if someone is playing basically backside or whatever, they still have free reign to come around and go for kills on you. So what you can actually do if you want to is you could smoke it a little bit closer like here and here. If you want to just quickly basically get a teammate to hold one each, go get a plant and then back up and play post plant. That is an option as well, but it's a little bit more risky because you will get people trying to swing you out of those smokes. So you do need people actually holding for you while you plant or you will get killed. On defense, you just need to smoke this a bit deeper in the window like this. It's going to overhang a little bit, but they still can't really swing out on either side because of the steps. It's just a bit awkward for them. They're falling, their, their uh, crosshair placement and everything will be all over the shop. But uh, you want to make sure that it actually covers the entire window. All right, when attacking C site, what I like to smoke is the window right here like so. And also C link like that. So it's going to look like this as you move up. There's going to be a smoke on the stairs there. There's going to be a smoke here. Now, the reason I smoke this is one, if you have teammates pushing through here, it helps them out to get onto site. But two, if I am defending this and this is all I can see, even if no one is pushing through garage, there's no way I'm just going to jump out here to try and swing the people coming along. I'm going to back up and wait for the C-Link one and then go straight out onto C like that. So it makes it a little bit more predictable to just molly this one, have this have this choked Watch off like smoke. so 
and then also have the one on window you want to just place it a little bit like that and that's going to look like that when defending seaside what i like to do is put one smoke like this flush with the garage doors and i also like to smoke nice and deep down on site like this Smoke's down which is going to allow, basically you see how it's completely smooth there so they can't sneak into garage with any angles. And then this just lets you know in advance whether they're actually pushing it or not. If you smoke all the way up the top here like Watch this, you're basically giving them the right to sneak all the way to this point and then rush through at the last second and now you're communicating with your team, hang on, they're pushing site. So you, if you put it back further and you see them actually come through, you can then have time to actually back off site and then you can play post plant or you know retake with your team. All right guys, so for a site where I like to smoke is the entry on rafters like this. And we also wanna smoke right smoke here down. like this. That is going to allow us to move on to site and have the fights with people whilst cutting off this entry point and makes it quite intimidating for people to move in. And same with the door. You do need to smoke this one a little bit deeper in because as you can see, it's only just covering and you can see how far I'd actually smoked in. You don't wanna do it like this because then you're creating angles, but you don't wanna do it like this, for Watching example, smoke. because then you're not really actually covering the whole doorway. So you need to smoke it quite deep like I first Watching did smoke. like that to actually make sure that you cover everything. You can, if you want to, chuck one there, but then it does give them, it blocks people from sniping you, but at the same time, it allows them to move on here and wait in the smoke, and then the second they hear you planting, drop down and actually try and go for a kill. So I just prefer to keep the site nice and clean, don't clutter it, and uh, basically just do the two entryways. All right, guys, so for defending the A site, you wanna put Watch one down. obviously right here, and you can molly that one so no one rushes through because people often will rush it. However, you've still got the section right here in front of me and the section over here, which is nest and belt. Now, if you do this one here and that one there, that's going to completely block them off. So the only thing they can really do is hop on top of pipes here and uh, go for a kill there. So it just makes it quite easy to predict where they might swing you from. And it is great to delay, which means they may rotate off or your team can rotate in to back you up if they're going to force the site. If you are attacking and you want to get through mid, don't worry about smoking up here on mid boiler. Instead, put it right here on mid tube like so, because it's still going to protect you from the boiler up here. There is a split second if you're really far back where they might see you a little bit, but if you're coming through this way nice and close and you're just checking your angles and then moving on to site, you're going to be totally fine with this one here and you don't need to worry about one up the right back here. there. If you are defending mid, you want to try and cut this Watching off smoke. like so, meaning that people have to swing you from out of the smoke like this, and they can't get across and up the tube. Sometimes I'll see people smoke up here like this, so people have to push through like this, but often they'll just go straight up through kitchen and then you've got someone flanking you and you've caused an absolute clusterfuck. So uh, don't do that put it further back if you're going to smoke it at all you don't really have to smoke it at all it uh it is good though if your teammates are trying to quick rotate from b they're coming from let's say they were sitting here. here fastest way through they're not going to go through kitchen they want to swing like this but they could get killed from here that's when you would use this kind of smoke to smoke basically down. say i've smoked mid you guys are clear to rotate straight through to a and then you get straight through like this all right, now it gets a little bit trickier because B side has a lot of sections that we want to cover and we've only got three smokes. Now you could put one here and you could put one in Launching top smoke. site like that. You could do that or you could put that one there and you could ignore this and get someone to hold it. And instead you could smoke here and here or if you really wanted to be bold, you could go like Launch this down. and you could smoke that, but it's way too close for my liking. So instead, this is what I would do personally. I'd wait for the smoke that I just put there that was terrible to go away and leave our life. Go away. Nope. And what I would instead do is one here. I would do one here and I would do one here Holy like this. Smoke. It means you are still exposed to up top. However, this is as clean as it gets right here like this. 
meaning you could get a plant right here, you could get a plant right here, obviously covering. The teammate, the enemies are gonna be hesitant to swing you from there and someone can be watching up top and you can molly this one right here because that's probably the most likely to get pushed. And if they push from here, you're still covered by the wall. So that's how I would go about doing this side. Next up, we have Fracture and A site. And what I like to do right here is smoke ropes like this, smoke A link like this and smoke Holy drop smoke. like this. That allows you to basically take control of sand, moving in like this, you can see here, and then you can actually start fighting anyone who may be on site holding like this. And you can also hold the people here. I'll put a molly in this one typically, just to sort of cut them off a little bit. And then you can move straight into site and have the fight with these people whilst cutting nice these here. rotators off. And, uh, and that's how I would go about it from that side of the map. Obviously, on a side note, don't cut this off right here at drop if you have teammates pushing drop because you're just going to cut them off but that's kind of common sense at the same time if you are coming from this side you guessed it you're going to go with link you are going to go with rope and most of the time you have people coming down a main so i wouldn't cut off a main although you do need to be prepared for someone to have been down there trying to get that early pick so you need to focus on this this and this if you are all rushing drop then I would smoke this as well. But that allows you to move straight onto site. You can, in fact, if you are worried about anyone playing sands, do this one instead. So you've smoked here, here, and here, and then you can move on and literally just worry about the engagements that are happening as you come onto site. All right, so for a site defense, if they are already up main, you can smoke like that. You can also smoke the doors Smoked like down. this. Looks like that. And then it also looks like that. So even if they open the doors, they can't see anything. And you can smoke drop as well if you feel like they are coming from both directions. That's what that would look like. And I would typically molly this one because the other one you're going to hear if they actually um, come through the doors anyway. And this is the closest spot to actually getting on site. Okay, so if we are attacking B site, what I like to do is you want to smoke off both canteen like this you want to smoke off generator right here like that Down. it's going to look like that and allow you to move straight up onto site some teams want you to smoke this off so that you can basically come straight here and someone will just hold the smoke so if there is someone in tower they really can't do anything but some other teams like to clear it straight away so you might smoke this as well or you basically just tell your team do you want me to smoke heaven or not do you want me to smoke tower if they say yes or no, then you can decide whether you, whether or not you do that. Um, and uh, and those are the main two that you're basically gonna do every single time you push the site. If you're attacking B site from the opposite side, what I would typically do is smoke right here in tower and then generator and canteen. You do wanna check with people whether or not they want you to smoke this because some teams will wanna rush that and you're creating sort of somewhere for the person in tower to hide. So you do need to have that discussion before you go ahead and do it. but. I would do it like this, then uh, when you're running in, they can't basically kill you from here. And you can basically molly that just like that to cut them off pushing through actual mid. And then you can just start holding and while someone goes and plants and all you got to do is get anyone that is in tower out of tower. All right, for B site, obviously the wall spawns right in front of me and a really great smoke is right here like this. That's going to slow them down long enough for you to come here and actually hold to actually see if anyone exits through. You've just got to be careful that someone doesn't sneak into this section right here. So you can come a little bit further out and hold like this. It allows you to get into different off angles like this and just make it a little bit more sneaky for them. And if they're planning on pushing from B main and arcade at the same time, it's a great way to actually just throw this smoke down, forget about it, focus on B main with everyone else. And then basically what can happen is that person won't know whether you're holding or not. So they will be a little bit more cautious to just walk through the smoke. And if you have an uncoordinated team, they may still push through B main and you can help your teammates pick them off like that before then um, turning your attention to the person arcade after the smoke has dropped. So that is a really good strategy as well that um, you know I've seen Zoms do quite a bit. Another thing that you can do is just obviously smoke B main like so. You just want to make sure that it's deep enough like I've done it here that they can't peek through this little angle basically right in the corner like this. You can see I can almost see. So you just need to make it a little bit deeper than normal like I have currently to uh, make sure that you completely cut it off. For Breeze and specifically pushing A site, what I like to do is people will often peek you originally from here and then if they get pressure, they go straight to a little heady right here where they'll 
peek you off the edge of this triangle. So what I like to do is first of all, smoke right here, and second of all, smoke right here. This allows you to cut that off. You can focus there, and you can basically focus here, here, and moving in. Someone could be right up here, even though this door is not open. They stand a lot of the time on these stairs. So what you actually wanna do is throw the third smoke, smoke, basically right there like that, to cut that off as you enter site and then you can go for a plant. And uh, if you want to, you can molly that. If you're worried about someone pushing you from doors because you thought, you know, maybe someone was coming from there. Otherwise you can obviously save it for a post plant situation and use a molly lineup. For defending a site, obviously the main thing you want to do is cave like this. You want it nice and flush. And mid wood doors, what you actually want to do is you want to avoid doing it right down where the doors are because you put it in the hallway above, which actually helps the enemies flank you because they can sneak up using your smoke. So you don't want to do that. That's a hurting smoke. Instead, you basically want to put it on the W of the mid wood doors, which is going to land it in that section down the bottom there like that. And then you can just focus the main doorway like so. And I would typically molly this just to try and cut them off and make sure they don't push through it. All right, when attacking B site, what I like to do is smoke the tunnel like this and also smoke the arches like this right up the back. That's gonna allow you to freely move onto site. As you can see, that leaves a tiny gap because your smoke is not quite big enough. And it's also gonna leave a little bit of a gap right here like this. However, I find that putting that there is better than some people will smoke it right where I'm standing like this. They'll put it there like that, for example. But then all that does is give them free access to go, huh, I'm smoked here. I'll literally start just cutting angles here and moving on to site and checking out where you might be. So personally, I'd rather put it back there, know that there's a little bit of a gap, monitor the gap and see if you can get a pick through it rather than kind of giving them a free pass behind this wall. For defending B site, obviously we have the B main like this and I would typically molly that one because people will push through that quite a lot. And then you have tunnel right here, which you can actually get to cover both of this because people will climb right up here and they will sometimes get a little heady. So you do need to just pay attention to that. You can smoke it a little bit further over to this side if you want, but then it would leave a gap here. So it's not really a perfect situation unless you want to use two. So what I would typically do is leave the little heady here but just look out for it and pay attention to the fact that people might climb up there. Our final map is split and the smokes that I like to do look a little something like this. We want to smoke ramps. We want to smoke tower, obviously making sure that these are flush so they can't sneak out and get kills on us. And they, we want to smoke screens. Now, if you're finding that you can't actually see all of this on your map, you can make your map smaller and you can also change the rotation of your map and all that sort of stuff until it works. Holy smoke. But it looks a little something like that. And then you can run straight onto site. And obviously you have to clear the angles, but that is how I would go about smoking it. All right, for defense on A, what we can actually do is smoke off just like this. And that is going to cover the entry points that they would otherwise peek through. And what you can actually do as well is if you're just sort of floating here and you know that they're actually, let's say your teammates calling out saying they're trying to rush mid or you're contesting mid or whatever, you have a couple of choices of where you could smoke. You could smoke here, for example. You could, if you wanted to, smoke off a little bit higher up to you know help your teammates if they are rushing you could say throw something down around mail so to help your teammates hold tower but this is really the only smoke that you actually have to specifically you know you don't have to use it but it's the main choke point that most people are going to come through on split so i would molly it off as well drop your smoke there and you're pretty much good to go if we are attacking through mid, what you're gonna want to do is smoke off vent like this. Launching smoke. It's gonna look like that as you come out, which means you can just basically focus straight onto the people in heaven and go for those fights straight off the bat. Push up. And you can also smoke Launching this gear. section off here as well, like Launching this smoke. when you start to get a bit closer. So when you're moving into heaven, you don't have to fight this angle and that angle at the same time. You can basically start having fights with these people straight away while someone just holds to make sure no one pushes through that. Or you can even molly it like that. And then you can basically ignore it and go straight for the fights down here like that. 
All right, as far as attacking B goes, if you are heading through garage, what you essentially want to smoke off is tower like so, and you want to go for alley like this. That is going to give you a really clear run straight onto site like so. You can smoke a little bit deeper. As you can see here, there's a tiny little gap that they can actually go here because the smoke is not quite wide enough. So if you want to, you can come all the way out to about like this and re-smoke, and that's going to allow them to kind of hop on Pop on the rope a little bit and get a little bit further out, but at the same time, they're going to drop straight into your view here. So you just have to watch out for that. But other than that, it's going to completely block the view if you just smoke a little bit deeper than you normally would. And then obviously you would have this smoked as well, just limiting people being able to push onto site. And obviously you can just deal with the people who are already on site first. The defense on B site, there is obviously, if you want to go for the alt orb right off the bat and you want to try and cut them off, you can smoke straight on top of them where they would initially push out. Just cuts their team in half nicely. However, the main smoke would obviously be right okay. here like this. And then obviously most teams will push mid as well to try and have mid control. So I would smoke mid bottom like that as well, just to uh, defend it nicely. And it's gonna look like that.